guys welcome to 31 days of tarot this is day three today's prompt is my top five oracle decks of 2018 these are the decks that i have acquired in 2018 that i absolutely love so the first one is my most favorite and most precious oracle deck is the oracle of the radiant sun i acquired this deck mm, maybe in the summertime um and I remember I was extremely excited because I found it at a decent, a really decent price. It's still pricey, but it was a very, very, very decent price compared to like the $800 that I was seeing it on eBay. Um, I literally paid a fraction of that. <laughs> so um, the Oracle of the Radiant Sun is... Um, it is not, it's, it's an out of print deck, but it is actually a, available for pre-order for a second edition. Um, and I believe it might be coming out in February, February or March. So you could totally pre-order this on Amazon. The cool thing I love about this deck is that it's very astrology inspired and the cards are just different. Um, they're beautiful. I love the artwork. I think it's just a gorgeous deck. And I pre-ordered, obviously, I pre-ordered the the um, the second edition, but you never know what you're going to get with the second editions. You never know if it's going to be the same artwork, the coloring, or the cardstock. So to be able to have acquired the first edition was just magical. Um, the next one is the Gaia Oracle. Now, this is an older deck, um, but I acquired it in a trade. So I have a Facebook group, Talk Tarot With Me, and we did um, a whole like little tarot yard sale type thing. <laughs> and I acquired this deck in a trade. Um, I have wanted it. I think I've always wanted it because of the card backs. I think they're beautiful. But when I got the, the Oracle deck, I was very um, surprised because I didn't realize that the um, the artist is the same artist who does the art of love tarot um so the images are the kind of artwork that I, I really really love and I just have found that this deck has been so intuitive and so easy to read with um I don't even look at the guidebook and anytime I don't have to look at the guidebook I think that's a plus so that's the the Gaia Oracle you could still find it for super cheap prices on eBay and Amazon um, the next one is the Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. This is my newest Oracle deck I have acquired. Um, it's available at Barnes and Noble, which is where I picked this guy up. Um, I have a couple animal decks, like I have the Animal Spirit deck and I have another one somewhere. Um, but I find like with the Animal Spirit, you have to go through the guidebook for that guy. This one, you can actually just go straight from the cards. So here are the card backs. Really beautiful, like a mandala kind of a, a pattern. And the cards themselves, the images of the animals, really beautiful colors. And as you can see, it says the, the animal, and then it says there's always enough. And it's just, to me, these prompts are so much easier to work with for intuitive message and not having to um, look at the guidebook. So I think that that's really really exciting. Um, and that's why I really love this deck. It's been super, super intuitive and has been giving really good readings for 2019. <laughs> um, next one is another, it's another oldie but goodie, the Psychic Tarot for the Heart. Um, I had acquired this deck maybe a couple months ago, but I already owned a copy of this. I had bought, this was like one of the, literally one of the first Oracle decks um, that I ever purchased. That one in the Psychic Tarot. And the original version of this one was really, really thick cardstock. It was hard to shuffle. It was old. And so I was like, you know what? I want to get a brand new deck because it's one of my favorites. I always use it. So this is um, the Psychic Tarot for the Heart. I love this one for love readings. You guys have seen it everywhere on my um, reading, my videos. Um, those are the card backs. <clears throat> And the cardstock is much thinner and it was gold edges. So beautiful deck. And the imagery is, you know, it's not something to get super excited over, but for some reason, this deck has been super intuitive. Um, it just reads really, really well. So I'm always recommending it to other readers who are looking for just a simple Oracle deck to, to use that they don't have to put a lot of thought into. <laughs> 
And last but not least um, is the Work Your Light Oracle cards. This is, um, the artwork is by Danielle Noel, which is the same artist who does the Star Child Tarot and the Moon Child Tarot. So if you want a deck by her that is at a bargain of a price, this is the deck to get Work Your Light Oracle cards. Um, the card backs are absolutely gorgeous. They're in pastel colors. That's what she's really known for is her color scheme. And as you can see, it looks just like the Star Child Tarot or a mix of the two. And you also have a nice little prompt here at the bottom. So it helps you with your intuitive messages. Um, again, this is a deck I do not have to use the guidebook for. So it's a really cool, it's a really cool one to work with. And it's beautiful. So check these out, you guys. All of them are available, but which is the exciting part, except for the original version of this guy but they're all available for purchase. I will put the links of information for you in the description box. And thanks you guys for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye loves.